Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. My name is CityZilla and today we are in the city of Crater Lake where we are going to be working on this area over here. And I want to do a waterfront, a cruise ship terminal, and then I think we're going to be laying out a road layout for probably a couple episodes for us to expand onto this island and probably up over here as well. I think it'd just be a really fun idea. I like that we have the forestry area with our little mountain town and this already uh, kind of booming fishing industry with a couple hotels down here. And so I felt like it was just a really great spot for us to advance. And so let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing we want to do is jump into landscaping, go to trees. And anybody who knows me, we're going to go ahead and remove all these because we are going to put trees back after we are done. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of these. And you know, I totally messed up and just made this all bald down here. We're going to have to come back through here and, and fix that. And so next we're going to jump into the level terrain tool and I want to create some layers here. I kept going back and forth because of how steep it was and it just wasn't, it didn't seem practical to me to just put the roads in and then kind of have the, the zoning or the buildings, whatever we decide to build be right off the hillside. So I, I felt like doing the tiered setup like we've done before was probably our best bet. So what we're going to do is come right here and we're going to go all the way around. All right. And so now that we have that, what we're going to do is choose our second height. And I think we're going to go like right here. And it's just, this is really steep area. So I don't, I don't really know if we're gonna, we can do too much about it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing here and literally just go all the way around here to probably about like right here. And then we'll have it kind of fade off into a nice uh, smooth kind of transition. And so now we will come up over here and I'm just going to go ahead and finish this for the whole hilltop real quick and then I'll show you guys what, what I did. Okay, so I feel like that's pretty good. Some of them are definitely a lot steeper than I want them to be, but honestly, it's just because of how big this hill is. It's definitely a big hill. And so we're going to have to play around with doing um, some of our sideways roads like we did before. Then we're going to come back through and do key balls and just make it look really good. I'm actually kind of excited about it. I think this is probably going to be a couple episode uh, build out. Um, it's definitely a lot of work because... Today, I think we're going to focus on this waterfront area and then we're going to do some of the hillside. But then I want to do something fun up here. I was thinking like tourist centric, maybe a couple plazas, um, a little bar area, some restaurant stuff like that. And then we are going to do a road across and have it come up over here. And that actually reminds me, I think we are going to cut this in just a smidge. We're going to go like right there. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and replicate this all the way up. And there we go. And the reason I did that is because I want to create enough space on this waterway over here for us to get some uh, cruise ship terminals in, but then also a couple hotels, make it into a nice destination. And, uh, and then I think we are going to be expanding our BRT network as well. And why are we like fluctuating with our cash? We were like running so positive for the longest time and now we're just going up and down, up and down. We still have, I mean, 5.5 million in the bank, so we really don't have to worry too much, but I'd still uh, prefer not to lose money. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and grab this key ball and I'm just going to draw it all the way around. And, and there we go. So now we have our lovely little, little waterfront area. And it does look like we're kind of a little messed up over here. I want to uh, kind of clean this up. All right. And so now let's go ahead and start working on some road layouts over here. So I do know that I want to grab this road and have it continue on. So we are going to go into the freeform tool. And we're going to come this way and I'm going to follow that key wall because I have some really fun assets I want to show you guys. So then we are going to come this way and what we're going to do is stop right there because I want to also do a road coming off of here. So we are probably going to make this a six lane road since this is going to be one of our main arterials for the area. So let's go ahead and do, we'll find a nice tree lined one. Yeah, this uh, six lane tree lined. I feel like this is fantastic. And so what I want to do is line it up to where it's going to go like right there. And then what I'm going to do is just go straight and then we're going to come back through and um, use the level terrain tool with, yeah, cause we don't, I mean, I feel like this would probably be fun on like a bike. Like, look at that. We're even hopping up and down with this because I have collision on. But um, I don't feel like that would be safe to drive. I feel like that's pretty sharp. Let's actually look at those slopes because uh, I just want to see, like, this is what the game decided. Yeah, so it's a 10.3 degree. And some of these are even sharper. Yeah, that's 14. That's crazy. So what we're going to do is grab this and we're going to come all the way up here. Yeah, let's go like right there. Let's actually lower this down, drop this down to ground level. We'll do the same thing with these. Hold shift, grab all that and then control H right there. Perfect. And then now we can jump back into that slope mode. Go like this and come down here, choose that. And let's go ahead and hit enter. Yeah, 6.1. That's still uh, pretty high. That would be, um, I think, uh, like a 10, 10 degree, 10% grade or something. We want to lower that down. Yeah, 5.7 5.7 is better. Um, it's still pretty high. 
but it's literally just how big this hill is like this would probably they'd probably have to have like a semi lane in there because of uh them having to go so slow climbing up this this would definitely be a tough grade and so i think what we're going to do is go ahead and put in some key walls and then we're going to do some slip lanes but i want to focus on this tunnel first and then i want to also focus on our other road layout so we'll probably end up coming back to this road last so we're going to go ahead and go to unmodded and we're going to go underground it will go like this and then let's go ahead and turn this on so we can see underground we'll go like this come around and let's go ahead and go up yeah we'll go like that perfect i feel like that looks pretty good and so the idea is for us to literally follow this down and then i was kind of looking at this area like this hill right here just seems crazy i don't even know why i was okay with this i don't know if i looked at that if i just like connected it and then moved on or something because i was looking at that again and i was like man this is just crazy totally unrealistic and not safe either that would have be like just a huge hill and given, again, it'd probably be super fun for kids, but uh, not for anybody else. It'd be tough to drive. So we're going to go to the slope mode now, and we're going to come in here. And what I'm going to do is choose this road. So I'm going to come down to my desired endpoint. I'm going to come down here. Nice. Look at that. Perfect. And this isn't an ideal connection for that down, down to, uh, for that road down there, but you know what? I think it's our best bet um, because I don't really want that road to have to climb up the hillside. This hilly area is just really crazy. So then we're going to grab the picker mud and we are going to connect this up. We'll go like right there if it'll allow me. Yeah, we'll go there. Nice. I feel like that's good. And then I'm just going to clean this up real quick. We have like a bunch of foliage and stuff on the road. Okay. Crisis averted. Now our road is drivable there still are some areas where you know the trees it's just overgrowth i mean you see this normally there's uh, like regulations in place or some sort of uh, standards in how uh, much those trees need to be trimmed but i feel like that looks pretty good and so let's go ahead and jump back over here now and so i do want to i think we're gonna have to trim this back just a smidge choose the picker mod grab this road i want it to connect up like right there so let's go ahead and turn this and you know like right there's perfect and then let's go ahead and go straight and connect up mm, i'm gonna go ahead and fix that real quick and there we go much better it was just a little off i could have kept it but honestly it would have bothered me sometimes it's those little things you know you just gotta get them right you just gotta get them right so we're gonna go like that nice and so the idea is for our lovely cruise ship terminal to be right here i think we are gonna mess with this a little bit though so we need to uh probably level this out a little more so we're going to stretch this out let's go ahead and move that so that it's straight and let's go back into that slope mode we're gonna go ahead and go to our highest point underwater so that we can try to get this as high as possible. So we wanna go like right, mm, yeah, we're gonna go like right there. And then what I'm gonna do is jump here and then hold shift, grab that, come up here, grab that, grab that, and grab that, and then hit enter. Nice, it's gonna give us a nice divot. We're gonna do some key walls around that, make it look nice. Then we're gonna do the same thing on this side, come up here, grab this, go like this. Let's go ahead and go like three up. I feel like that's good. That's still a really steep grade. Let's go ahead and go maybe a little bit higher. Mm, I mean, it's uh, it's better. And um, one of the cool things about that too is we'll be able to do some key walls, make this into a nice little area. And so now let's figure out what we're going to do for this. We have one arterial. We have a second arterial. We're going to do high density residential along here. The city is in desperate need of more residents um, because we are having some employment issues, I think, right now. So if we jump in here, so we have 72,000 jobs available with 50,000 people employed and a 3% unemployment. So we definitely have a problem. And so the city has incentivized um, home builders to basically just go as quickly as possible. And so a couple developers have purchased this land and decided to do some high rise condos and rentals, apartments, stuff like that. And so um, it's going to be really cool. We're going to we're going to do some fun stuff. And so I do want to go ahead let's do one arterial off of here because we could even have one go this way that could be interesting so then we could do like um bridges going across too let's actually do that so we'll come this way and then what we're gonna do is go ahead and turn off snapping so i can get a nice clean angle out of this and then what we're gonna do is literally just jet across use anarchy and then come back and fix it and we'll come up over here nice there we go and then what you need to do is jump into the upgrade tool go to create bridge mode go like that perfect and then what i'm gonna do is just move this back a little bit so that we don't have that clipping and then we can probably move this up i want to make sure that that looks good yeah that looks pretty good nice and so let's go ahead and jump into a two unit road now let's actually use that road i think that road looks pretty good so two lane avenue with trees and parking which is fantastic 
And so I want to make sure that that's off first. So we're gonna basically follow a very similar pattern to what we had before. So we're gonna come this way and then we're gonna go down. Nice. And so we do need to jump into the slope mode and make sure that this is uh, gonna be good because right now that, that doesn't seem like it's gonna be good. So we'll come down here, grab that, grab that, grab that. Yeah, some of those are just crazy. Oh, perfect, look at that. That's actually a really nice connection, I like that. And then I think we will connect up um, some other roads in here. I don't wanna do another big road though. I think having big roads going all the way down would be kind of troublesome. And so what we're gonna do is go ahead and probably come off of here and then have it turn. Yeah, go like this, perfect. And then what I'm gonna do is probably do this on all of our ledges real quick and then I will be right back with everybody. Okay, so that is the basic idea. We are still gonna come back through here and play with a little bit of this. So one of the things I had mentioned was that I wanna have some connections off of this road too. So what we're gonna do is literally come off of this road and have it follow the curve and then turn up and go like that. And then what we'll do is jump into the slope mode, grab this, and then connect it up and just make it smooth. That was a nice 2.2 degree slope, which is perfect. And so we're gonna go ahead and switch back and forth with this. And the reason we're gonna do this is because it creates some interest in here, but then it also creates some much needed access for this area. We wanna make sure that there are enough avenues for people to get out so that we don't have huge bottlenecks. And one of the big bottlenecks right now is this middle road. I really don't want um, a bunch of people just having to take the middle road all the time. We're gonna go ahead and go like this. And so now what we're doing is creating access down this middle road for people to also take these side roads. And so we actually need to connect this one up as well. So we'll go into freeform. We will grab this. I wanna go straight. And then what we're gonna do is curve it in. Nice, fantastic. This is already looking so good. I think, you know what? I would like to have this one go this way, but because of that slope, let's see. Yeah, it's gonna to be too close. So we're gonna go ahead and go this way. Even though it is the same as the other side, I don't feel like it's the end of the world. I would rather not have those junctions too close. And so we'll do the same thing, hit that slope. And you know what? This is already looking really cool. So we have so we have access coming off of all of these roads. And I kind of snaked these around to create a little more interest. And then I had this road turn kind of in the middle so that we could do some hotels in here. And it also just creates, you know, make some uh, bends in the road. Um, same thing with this road. I wasn't really sure what to do with this. We may get rid of this and redo this because I don't know if I really like this top side or not. It's not very symmetrical. It doesn't look very good. I feel like that looks pretty good. I do want this to be a little more down, but let's go ahead and look at that slope because I want to make sure that this isn't going to be too crazy right here. So if we go 5.5, uh, yeah, that's, I mean, it's seven degrees. That's pretty high. That would definitely be pretty bad. Let's go ahead and raise that one back up. I don't feel good about that. So if we grab that, go to that height, and then let's um, go back to slope mode and do this again. Yeah, 3.3, that's just much better. All right, and then we will grab this, go like this, perfect. And I feel like this one's already good as well. Yeah, 5.2. I mean, it's pretty steep, but it's not the end of the world. And so now this leaves a bunch of room up here for us to do some fun stuff. And so I do want to come in and do key walls as well. And then I want to do some zoning. Let's go ahead and do the key walls first. So what I'm going to do is go in here. We're going to go to water structures. And I think we're going to use one of those ones that I've been using a lot recently. And I really just love them. I think they're just such great peers. I think we're going to do this stone key decorated right here, this first one. And so basically what I'm going to do is have it follow all the way down. And then on these curves, I'm going to have them follow the road and then come up here. Anybody who's seen me do tier builds before, before knows what I'm talking about. But if you're new, then um, this is something that I've done a couple times. I really like the design of it. And so I'm going to go ahead and get it done real quick. And then I will be right back. Okay. So after much work, I have finally got it done. And I just think it looks fantastic. And there's still some areas that we're going to need to kind of iron out a little bit. Some of the slopes are still a little off. Um, it was just a lot to do at once. And so I think once we get the buildings in and we actually start detailing it in, we'll probably come back through. Like you can see this one down here, just a little low, whereas we would just raise up the bridge. Um, and so now what I want to do is start working on this area. And so I did also put a key wall around this, which I think looks fantastic. So now we have access coming up all the way over here. I don't know if we're going to do a key wall there. I think we'll do some rocks. Then we have access coming up all the way over here. And so I do want to put a BRT station and then probably four cruise ship terminals. Again, anybody who watched my Canalville um, series knows that I put four there too. So I want to do two and two, and then I want to do two and two over here. So we can kind of have it a little split up. 
And then my idea is to do a BRT station right here. I think it would just be a fantastic location for it. So if we actually jump in to find it and let's search up BRT, I want to go to that elevated one that has little pathways on the side. Yeah, this one. Perfect. So if we go like right here, let's actually, maybe if we go diagonal, actually, I was kind of hoping to get it a little bit closer, but you know what? I feel like if we line it up with this, we can actually do the pathways going down right next to that which i think would be fantastic and so let's go like this and then it actually lines up nicely with the road as well and so it's kind of funny i did um stumble across a much better way to do these than the way that i did them before anybody who watched my other brt um, episode knows that i just painstakingly drew them in connected them to the road and then had to go back and then use move it and it resulted in a bunch of these like not perfect segments but it works I, I did go through and smoothen it and so a lot of them are pretty good like they they don't look terrible but they're definitely not perfect and so it was definitely something that i had to kind of cut the corner on that and so i did find out that if you use the create parallel mode and i'd actually gotten a comment on it and i didn't know that you could drop a uh, parallel mode down to zero and it is just fantastic so we're actually going to go right here and my goal is to probably cut down here and then follow this road and so now when that's selected, what you do is just hit the minus button until you get all the way to zero. And then what you can do is raise the height. So we're actually going to go up just high enough to be taller than those lights. We're probably going to go right there and then we're going to go ahead and enter. And man, that was infinitely faster than the way that I did it before. It's almost embarrassing. I wish I would have known. But, you know, that's how this game goes. It's like, you know, you constantly learn new things and you get better. And, and so that's just how it goes. And so we're going to go like this and we're going to connect it up right there. And I do want to jump in and move it and just line that up a little bit better. And, you know, it's funny. Um, another thing that you would that you really want to do is have collision off when you do that so that it does your pillar. So I'm actually going to upgrade these now with collision off so that we can get the pillars in the middle of the road. I'm going to go ahead and get that done real quick. Okay. And so now the idea is for us to basically cut off down here and then meet up with the road down there by our fishing Harbor pier area, and then um, go all the way out until we get to our new area, which I think is just going to be fantastic. So we're actually going to turn off road bending so we can come this way and I'm going to go up. Okay. So I got the road in. And so let's actually go ahead and delete this section right there since our curve was a little off. And then we can jump into the freeform tool grab that let's go ahead and turn on snapping so we can get that 90 and have it go up there nice i feel like that's actually much better that's still pretty steep but it's not too steep and i think now what we can do is actually go from back here as well so if we go from right there to right there yeah you know five degrees is not bad that's definitely doable especially for a bus and so now let's come over here and I think we're going to do some more stops, but for right now, we're just going to focus on this one. So I think we need to trim this back just one. And then I'm going to have it go straight. And I want it to line up with that. Yeah, we'll go like that, go like that. And of course, it was connected to the road. I'm going to go ahead and redraw that in real quick. And there we go. Nice. We have a nice even transition for that. And so now the idea is for us to basically loop around. And I think we're going to do another station over here. So let's actually use the picker mod just because it's going to limit people having to walk around. It's going to make it a little more accessible. Is it entirely necessary? No, but it is going to ensure that people are using these stations, which I think is going to be a really good move for the area. So we're going to go ahead and go like that. And then we're going to jump back into our roads. If I can find them, yeah, right there. And let's go ahead and connect these up. I think we're gonna to have to go a little straight on this one. Yeah, nice. That looks good. And then that way what we can do is just connect this up have it go right there. Nice. Fantastic. And I do want to uh, jump into node controller. Let's go ahead and actually hit alt. Let's grab these if I can. And then let's uh, push this back just a little bit. Yeah, we'll go like right there. And let's do the same thing on this side. Perfect. Look at that. That is a nice connection. I'm guessing that these roads were designed with these kind of connections in mind. I really like that loop around. I feel like that's fantastic. And so now we have a nice station over here. I would like to get a station over here. Somebody had commented saying that we wanted to have stations a little more frequent than what we did before. So I think what we'll do is let's go ahead and put a station right here because we're going to end up doing, um, I think, some commercial and tourism and stuff down here with some residential. And so this would definitely be a good spot. And there we go. So now we have another station over here, which I think is fantastic. We've added in some some nice access you know it is a little bit closer it's going to help people in this area to get around and so i do want to get another station over here as well 
Let's actually do a little spoke one right here because I feel like this actually isn't the greatest location. It would be nice if we could get one back there. I mean, it's within walking distance. You know, maybe we'll um, we'll get one up here. I think this is going to be much easier. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this and do the same thing that I did on the other side. Okay, BRT system in. I feel like that looks really good. So we got a station right there, station right here, two stations right there. It would be nice if we had a station right there. It's still kind of far away because we have a station right there and a station right here. Yeah, you know what? Just because it's a little redundant, I feel like it's gonna be good if we put a station right here. I'm gonna go ahead and throw one in real quick. Okay, there we go, BRT system in place. So let's now jump into node controller and just mess with some of these, these uh, intersections. I do wanna widen this one up. I feel like we had already worked on this one, but I guess not. Yeah, we'll go like that. And then let's uh, jump into our smaller one now, widen this one up, perfect. And then let's uh, move this post. I feel like that would probably be unsafe. So we will go over here and let's go ahead and copy that go like right there and then we will copy and come up over here nice so now we have a nice even transition for that area we got to stop right there this is fantastic we really got some great access over here so before we forget i'm going to go ahead and throw in the bus line and i think what i'm going to do instead of expanding upon any of the, the other lines i'm actually just going to have it start over here where our tram station is stop at this stop and then actually come down here and then stop at these stops and then just loop back so anybody coming off of the uh, cruise ships will be able to just kind of get into the city um, and then transfer if they need to rather than expanding upon our current brt I think it's just going to create a little too many stops and everything this would just make more sense okay so i got the bus line hooked up and it is running i uh, already dropped down some of the lines for some reason i gave it like 30 uh, 30 buses and i changed the name to brt cruise spur so i dropped it down to 12 and then i changed it to the super bendy buses um the speed limit on those roads is 60 so i think this is actually going to be a really good speed for us so i want to now hook up our lines here to the road so let's go ahead and go like right here. I'm gonna curve that in. Yeah, we'll go like right there. I feel like that's good. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on this side. So we will curve it in, go like that. Perfect. And then we could have these loop around or we could have them loop down here. I feel like this would actually be better because I wanna to try to save some space too. I don't want to just kind of fill all that in. So let's um, jump back into a two unit road and we can actually go to freeform. We'll go like that. Let's go ahead and hook this up. And then let's go ahead and hook this up. And then my idea is to do some wharfs in here. I wanna make it into a really nice area. So if we go like this and let's go ahead and connect this up now yeah we'll go like that perfect and then let's go ahead and do the same thing over here go like that and then i got some awesome wharf uh, kind of assets off the steam workshop i also got some awesome key kind of apartments that i think are going to be really fun so if we go in here and search up wharf uh i forgot the the h that would probably be important so we'll go in here and i want to use these ones i think it was this one actually that i was looking at the most so let's go ahead and place it down. And then what I'm thinking is we will turn it and we'll have it go like right here. And so the idea is, is this is where like a bunch of little shopping would be like they have these little stalls, probably a fish market. Um, and then maybe this was used in the back in the day. And then now it's actually been refurbished and turned into something else. And so, so we're going to go like this. And then the idea is I'll probably do a fountain, um, some walking paths, make it into a really nice area. I want to do some shops right here. Um, we have transit access now, which is fantastic. So let's actually pause because we're burning money on these guys and they're not hooked up to water yet. We've got this covered. We could do a nice little like beach condo or hotel right there. I feel like that would be nice. Similar to what we did in the other one. We have some big ones. Ooh, this is the same same one that we did on the, on the last one. Um, but I think, you know what? It's a nice fit and I like that it's right in front of the BRT thing. I think that actually looks pretty good. Um, cause then we can do a nice little pool around the backside and, uh, kind of clean it up. I think that'll be a nice fit. So these would be for people who are maybe, um, wanting to visit Crater Lake as well before they go on their cruise or after their cruise, uh, depending on what they're doing. And so they would now have options, which I think are just fantastic. So let's come in here and search up condo now. And I think I, I saw them in here, these guys. So these are absolutely awesome. I think they're fantastic. So these are like little quayside apartments. And so what I want to do is literally fill these, probably this whole section right here. So these would be like pretty upscale apartments that would be just right on the waterfront. 
and they would have nice little views and they all have little balconies like these would just be fantastic so i'm going to go ahead and place these going all the way down okay there we go so instead of going all the way down i decided to go right here and what's interesting these actually have little caps too so if i come in here go like right there and let's go ahead and raise this up yeah there we go so there's like a little uh almost maybe like a bar or restaurant up there that they have we'll go ahead and do two of them i feel like that looks great i like the look of that that looks fantastic and so I do want to get a couple small little shops in here. I think what we'll do is we will paint this in as a small district. And I want to do some leisure right there. I feel like that would be fantastic. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing right here. Just some small little leisure. Um, a couple restaurants, stuff like that. People who like just got right off. Maybe even gift shops or something. And so now let's come in here. We are going to go to leisure. Select leisure for both of them. Let's go ahead and turn on district just to make sure. Yeah, we're good. And so um, we are also going to do small zoning on this. We're not going to get crazy. We're going to go only two by slots. So we'll go like that. Okay, so I got that small zoning in. And so now what I want to do is a nice little condo area in here. And I want to do a similar thing to what we did in canalville just because i think it's such a great look especially for this area and so what we're going to do is um, come out one and we're going to follow the road so that we can have a little bit of a setback in here it helps to create a really nice vibe that i like for uh, high-rise uh, residential areas it's almost just like a really big curb so we'll go like that and then let's go ahead and create a couple little connections in here so we will go right here let's left yeah we'll go right there nice and then let's go ahead and create one right here too yeah there we go Nice. And so now we have some pretty good accessibility for this area. Let's go ahead and have this go back. Should we go one further? I'm tempted just to leave the sand there. That could be nice. Now, you know, what? we're going to go one further. And then I think what I'm going to do is switch to a parking lot road. Yeah, there we go. At least now we have a little bit of parking in here, too, which would be great. And so let's actually hook this up over here. So we're going to have this go straight. Connect up right there and let's have this go right there as well. Nice. It's not the cleanest of connections, but it's just because that's the slope right there. I wonder if we can actually make that a little bit better. So if we come in here, we should be able to just have this go like right there. And then let's jump into node controller and let's actually hold alt so we can get into our specific segments. Bring this back. Let's go ahead and do it on the other one now. It does look like it's a little close, but maybe there is too many nodes a lot of times if you just have, yeah, so there's a node right there and a node right there. So if we come in here, get rid of that node, get rid of that node. That should help out. Um, I think if we move this around too, yeah, there it was right there. Ooh, nice. Looks like we got it. We do need to raise this up just a smidge. Yeah, there we go. And then what we can do is jump into node controller, hold alt hold these back just so we can get that nice clean line in there do the same thing over here alt so we do need to adjust the key wall again which is understandable and so now we have a nice clean connection over here i do wish that this was a little bit better what we can do those go into node control and turn this into a slope piece so it's at least a little bit better yeah it's not bad we can actually do that for this segment as well make slope nice and there we go and so now we have some nice clean connections back here and so basically what we're going to do in here is probably just do high rise residential. Ooh, and it looks like maybe we can get some big buildings off this backside. And I'm just going to zone it in right now. And then what we're going to do is um, come back in and kind of clean it up. And then some smaller ones in here. This is going to really help create a nice look. And so before that zones in, let's go ahead and get rid of some of these. We want to do some parks, some assets, some plazas, turn it into a really nice area. I don't want to just mass zone and uh, and call it a day. And so I think we're going to do these Japanese botanical gardens if we can. Yeah, they're perfect for this area. We're going to do two of them. I feel like it's a nice area, especially on the beach. You got your little Japanese garden, maybe go meditating or something. I think that would be fun. And so I do want to do a sauna and a yoga garden, though we are spending way too much money on these. These are so expensive. I don't know if anybody's ever looked, but this is $1,600 a week and this is $400. Oh, so the sauna is actually not bad. The yoga garden, though, is, is outrageous. Those That's why our city hurts with our budgets, because I do so many yoga gardens. I wonder how many yoga gardens in the city we have. We, we probably have quite a few. So I'm going to go ahead and throw in some water pipes real quick so we can get the cruise ship terminals going and then we can start growing in some of these buildings. And voila, water pipes down. We should start getting these in. Let's go ahead and do our walking paths for our, uh, our BRT stations now. So let's come in here. Let's go ahead and have this one go down right here. 
I'm gonna go like that. Okay, so I got the walking paths in. I couldn't do one on this side because of our hotel. We still need to come through here and do some detailing though. I wanna do some fountains and really make it into something nice. I do want this to be uh, or self-sufficient though, since this is definitely the vibe that this area is gonna be given off. All right, so I got that as self-sufficient. I wanna go ahead and put down some services now and I have some awesome beach services. So if we come in here, I think if we go, yeah, Palm Beach Fire Department, which I think is just such a great little look for here.
Okay, so after spending probably too much time detailing this, I finally got some cobblestones down here with a couple fountains, and I think it just looks fantastic. I decided to do a couple little stalls down here, and then I did expand our pathways over here connecting to the cruise ship terminals, as it's kind of funny, we're, we're getting a lot of people who are kind of taking cars rather than getting onto the BRT, which is definitely something that we don't want to happen. We want as many people as possible to take these. Then I have this awesome little hotel over here that I did, and I decided to go something a little more minimal, and it's kind of funny. It looks like my bush has disappeared. Um, for some reason, what's happening whenever I jump out of the game and then jump back in, um, some of my trees and also props are just disappearing, and so it's kind of frustrating. Frustrating. Um, but then I did these uh, this wood paneling over here with a little restaurant over here. I felt like this was just going to be a nice little touch. And you can kind of see some of the issue I was just talking about with this. So if we grab this, come in here, grab one of these, copy that, and just cover it up. That is how it's supposed to look. And then I just did um, a pool back here with some little couches with the planters. I think it looks really good. And then over here, I decided to turn these into residences. And so I did uh, minimal detailing again. I did um, some bushes around, some rocks. I really wanted to capture some of that beach vibe. And then I filled in our parking spaces going all the way around. Look, we have some people using them. So these are like apartments basically, and it really helps to boost our, uh, our residential. We had a huge demand for residential, which we still do. And then last but not least, we have this awesome hotel sitting off the far side. And I did a couple little cabanas, just a nice little walking kind of beachfront area over here and then some pools with some cabanas it also has a pool on the roof which i think is fantastic you can kind of see a little jacuzzi over here so this would have some really cool views coming off like you would see all the cruise ship terminals and you can see crater lake in the distance like there's the airport right there um, but you would see just a ton of these cruise ships coming in It'd be a real cool spot to just kind of hang out there and so um go ahead let me know what you guys think i think it's definitely going to take a few episodes so on the next one we're probably going to fill in a couple of these and then detail I really want to do a nice um, commercial kind of tourism area at the top with a really nice plaza. Um, and then we'll probably incorporate some more unique buildings. Um, I know we have most of them, but there's still a few that we could definitely squeeze in. Crater Lake was definitely um, a city that I did prioritize unique buildings on a little more so than Canalville. No Canalville, we don't really have a ton, um, but it does look like we have a couple of these bigger hotels that we could place. And we have the Grand Library right there too, which would be awesome. And then we have a, ooh, it looks like the, the Science Center too, which is, which is cool. And this, ooh, and we, I guess we didn't place the aquarium either. So I guess we still have quite a bit um, that we can place down, but go ahead let me know in the comments what you guys think um sorry for being kind of late this week i it was just kind of tough with this one i kept going back and forth on the design and so i would draw it all out and then delete it draw it all out and delete it and so it's just it was like back and forth all week it was kind of crazy and so i hope you guys enjoy it um i'm gonna do my best to uh, get all three episodes out again this week i appreciate your support go ahead let me know in the comments what you guys think and if you enjoyed this episode you will definitely enjoy the episode on your screen and thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys on wednesday